has more in the following report. In almost every parliamentary election, majority of MPs usually do not return to the House due to to a number of factors. The attrition rate of MPs, according to governance experts, affects the quality of parliamentary work. The majority leader, Osei Chairman Sabonsu, has always been vocal about this. We need the MPP now, oh, a little over 50%, our first timers. How do you grow your party? How do you grow parliament in that regard? So, so the, the people who come are inexperienced, they have to learn. And because of that, they are not able to, to hold the executive to, you know, effective check. Former Speaker of Parliament, Professor Michael Quay, could not agree more. When half of the members of Parliament are rejected at an election, when you go back, you must think again. Because we have to ask, what is happening? It is very, very serious. Because, you see, we spend money sending MPs on various training programs and exposure activities, home and abroad. And then after four years, the man or woman doesn't come again. The state has lost money. Because you, you cannot gain it all within four years. So we need experienced uh, members of parliament. Just like the majority leader, the former speaker of parliament is of the view political parties should be blamed in a way for the attrition rate. Yes, in a way, because not that they are to be blamed directly, but the system itself gives rise to that. For example, the mon monocracy attendant to the present system, it is terrible. Professor Michael Quay prefers experienced MPs in order to strengthen parliament and also gives respect to the institution. Let legislators be legislators and then let them, for example, be thinking of how they can adopt private members' bills to enhance the parameters of our laws, not uh, work, always thinking of what the executive has brought to parliament, what is now the business by the, the executive, it is not helping us. So their reputation also drops in the eyes of their people. No wonder they think that they should elect other people, only for them to also come and suffer from the lacuna which already exists. He lamented the monocracy in politics is getting out of hand and suggested state funding of parties. Things like uh, common fund and so on and so forth, they think the MPs are making millions uh, from them. They should take them to the people who execute things, you know, the assembly. MPs should be giving allowances to rather monitor. When you hear all these people being worried about uh, monocracy, I think the constitutional arrangement must take note of it and look at state funding of political parties, limitation in expenditure by individuals. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3.